Hello everybody, shooting another video from the road less traveled. I can't really believe that I'm doing this again, but I'm going to do it again. I think that I have some information that I would like to share. I know I have some information that I would like to share, and therefore I am shooting this video in order to be able to do that. I'm listening to another podcast the other day and was inspired and moved to shoot this to share with everyone. This podcast was talking about the power of a made-up mind. And the first story was about a father and son by the name of Dick and Ricky Hoyt, who Ricky Hoyt was actually born a spastic quadriplegic, could not talk, could not move any of his limbs. And his dad saw the spirit of a competitor within his paraplegic or quadriplegic son rather and decided that they were going to compete in Boston marathons and compete in the Ironman. Ironman is 2.4 miles of swimming, biking 112 miles and then running 26.2 miles. On the swim he was literally pulling his son with a harness while his son was in a boat and um, subsequently rode the bike with him in tow and um, ran with him uh, in a wheelchair, pushing his son in a wheelchair. Um, the father, Dick Hoyt, decided he made up his mind that that was, that that was what he was going to do, that no matter what, he was going to do these things, either pulling his son in a boat or pushing him in a wheelchair for 26 miles that he was going to complete and compete in these various extreme physical challenges so that he could spend a quality time with his son. He made up his mind. The second story is a story about a gunnery sergeant, Carlos Hathcock from Vietnam, and Carlos was the Marine Corps' number one sniper, had done four tours in Vietnam, was getting ready to go home, had his stuff packed up, and a mission was brought to him to kill one of the the number one Viet Cong general. They were getting ready to pack up and go home, and units are the most vulnerable in those times when they're getting ready to pack up and leave or when they first arrive in theater. And so he had this field, 2,500 yard field that he was going to climb through. Uh, he was going to crawl through rather. F took him four days to do, moving as slow as a snail. And getting eaten up alive by fire ants. No food, no water for four days. Gets to the location, takes the shot, kills the Viet Cong general. And he was asked... How did you complete that mission? And he said, I completed it because I made up my mind that that, that that was what I was going to do. It's interesting because this is applicable in relationships, um, especially in relationships where people have made some type of commitment, whether that be in, in a, your dating or you're deciding you're, you're going to be official or be a couple. Um, and, and, and transitioning that into marriage. The thing about marriage is that both sides have to have their mind minds made up. That they're going to work through whatever it is necessary in order to be successful, in order for there to be peace, in order for there to be happiness and joy within the home. I will share myself a few decisions that I made up my mind to do in life. 2004, I used to smoke black and miles habitually and coming back to watch my daughter be born and decided that as I was driving back to California that I was no longer going to smoke black and miles after seeing my daughter be born. I had this thought, this vision that I needed to be on this earth 
as long as I possibly could and that smoking was definitely not going to be the way that that was going to happen. I also made a decision that I was always going to be there for my daughter. Growing up without a father uh, in my life in that way, especially up until the time I was 11 or 12 with my stepdad, when I met my stepdad, I decided that I was going to be present for her, that I was always going to be around or that I was going to be really involved in whatever she had going on. Uh, and that was a decision I made up my mind. And no matter where I am, no matter where she is, I stay involved with her, stay in contact with her, stay in communication with her, uh, whether we're in the same city or whether we are states apart. And the last thing, the newest thing that I have decided that I made up my mind to do was that I was going to make a concerted effort to grow the road less travel to wellness. It, ha it is something that is going to take time. It is something that is going to take a lot of work, take a lot of dedication, a lot of studying, a lot of reading, uh, and a lot of sharing in order for this to grow to where I not necessarily want it to be, but to the place where I am impacting others, people, other people's lives positively um, and sharing what I feel like is my obligation to share with others. I will end by reading something to you. Uh, what decisions do you need to make now? What decisions do you need to make today that are going to impact your life? And a decision, when you make up your mind, that's it. You, you make it up and you decide you're going to forge forward with that decision. There's no quitting when you make up your mind in that way. And And just understand... I'll read this little bit to you. The more your mind is made up, the more people who don't have their minds made up will want to convince you that you don't have yours made up. There will be more doubters, people questioning than ever before. And people are free to dispense their advice. And sometimes it's worth what it's paid for. That free advice is not worth much of anything. So I'm going to end it here. Make up your mind about what you want to do, what you want to be with your life. And when you make it up, you will have motivation. You will, you will find resolve that you did not even know that you had. So what are you going to do today? What are you going to make up your mind about?